Hey guys, I just want to talk to you briefly again about another uh, subject that I like to put in uh, your offer of purchase and sale um, as a first time home buyer for your protection of course. Um, the subject is subject to two years of strata minutes. A lot of people think you're looking at the strata minutes to see if there's been an issue in the history of the building and then from that you can say, okay, well, there was an issue so it's a bad building, I don't want to buy it. Um, the reality is, in my perception of the real idea and value behind looking at the minutes, in any building you're going to have to assume there's something wrong. If it's a day old or if it's 10 years old, there's going to be some little thing that's happened or happening and uh, whatever level of deficiency. So we've got to assume that there's the building has a past, and uh, there's there's going to be something wrong at some point. Um, the reason uh, the reason we look at the minutes, in my opinion, is to see okay things that have gone wrong. Perfect, we want to know about. But the biggest issue is we want to see how proactive the strata is about these issues. We can assume that something's going to always happen with the building in the past or the future, but how is the strata reacting to these issues? Are they letting the problem sit? Are they moving quickly and diligently towards the issue to get it resolved as soon as possible, which is obviously the best case for the longevity of the building. So what I like to do for my clients is um, we get two years of minutes, put that in the contract, so it's a legal request uh, to the seller um, to give us the two years of minutes so we can have a look through these and see how due diligent the strata council actually is. Not necessarily just the what condition the building's in, but how due diligent the council is and how they act towards issues that are obviously going to arise. Um, if you have any qu more questions on this subject, please don't hesitate to email me, j at jmckinnis.com. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.